As the fighting rages on in Gaza, the humanitarian crisis is intensifying. But there's more help on the way. Four U.S. Army ships loaded with tons of massive equipment and steel pier segments left Virginia on Tuesday. They're heading to Gaza to build a temporary port just offshore to facilitate the delivery of food, medicine, and other desperately needed supplies. And the Pentagon says those efforts will be expanded in the coming days. This is just part of a bigger effort in addition to our maritime efforts, the airdrops, uh, and then USAID working uh, to with partners in the region to open and expand the land routes. The new port should be up and running in about two months. It will enable the delivery of about two million meals every day, but it's still unclear how the Israeli military will respond. When asked if the U.S. had permission to build the pier, a DOD spokesman said, quote, I don't think Israel said we can or can't. We intend to continue to communicate directly with the Israeli government at every le level, including between the president and the prime minister, and we will see where things go from here. That's significant because of the growing rift between President Biden and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. On Tuesday, Netanyahu strongly rejecting Biden's criticism of Israel's conduct in the war. You cannot say you support Israel's right to, ex to exist and to defend itself and then oppose Israel when it exercises that right. President Biden was asked Tuesday if he plans to address his concerns with Netanyahu. He responded, we'll see what happens. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yankst, Fox News.